One of the biggest issues in recycling is not the ability to recycle waste, it's the ability to capture waste. The founder of Repal could actually see that in the future there was going to be a climate emergency and a waste emergency. And he was passionate about being able to provide the way to recycle plastic bags. He founded the thermofusion process, which is the basis of how we recycle and recapture plastic waste. As the gateway to Southeast Asia, Indonesia is a rapidly developing location for supply chain and logistics management, with the Indonesian logistics market set to reach $240 billion by 2021, and with a GDP of over $1 trillion, it is well on its way to becoming a global economic powerhouse. Yet underlying this prosperity is the challenge of increasing environmental pollution, with Indonesia making between 1.15 and 2.4 million tonnes of new plastic every year. It is vital that this plastic can be reclaimed, reused and reinvented. Repal is the circular economy. We take waste and we concentrate it into a pallet. At the end of life, our pallet can be reused, mixed in with other waste. There is no make, use, throw away. It's all reclaim from waste, reuse and reinvent into a pallet. Businesses using unsustainable timber pallets are contributing to the global deforestation at the equivalent of four football fields per minute. Many modern multinationals are now looking to make their supply chain sustainable in light of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. We have been close to Repel for some years now and we are delighted that they have successfully trialled our Aqua labels into the Repel pallets. Danone Aqua has been promoting a circular economy model for many years and this partnership is part of our Bijak by Plastic pledge that underscores our commitment to addressing plastic waste problem in Indonesia by collecting more plastic waste than we produce by 2025. It is an absolute privilege to host you here for our Repal Open Day. It was quite easy for me when I first met Stephen to take a look at our pallet use. We have around two and a half million pallets that we're using at any one time around the region. And probably 70-80% of those are wooden pallets currently. So the idea of transferring onto plastic pallets made sense. We're not chopping down as many trees. But the idea of using recycled plastic pallets is even better because it's taking waste out from the environment. Repal, manufactured in Indonesia providing zero-waste, 100% recyclable pallets, a solution that is uniquely sustainable. Repal's unique, patented thermofusion technology process provides an innovative solution to managing plastic waste. We take only mixed waste plastics and we clean and transform this waste into our strong ISO-tested Repal plastic pallets on-site. Compared to the total life cycle of both timber or virgin plastic pallets, Repal processes have a lower energy and lower carbon footprint, producing virtually no waste, and are a cost-effective, sustainable solution to supply chain management. We're working with some of the top multinationals across Southeast Asia and in Indonesia, including LF Logistics, Danone and Nestle. And they choose Repal because of our circular economy fit with their business. And this is important for them and their sustainable development goals for 2030. Our take-back scheme provides a return system for end-of-life pallets, which means that businesses using Repal are further contributing to a circular economy. Repal's 20,000 square metre factory in East Java is ideal for businesses shipping to other tax-free zones across Indonesia or to the rest of the globe. We're a tipping point globally in climate change. We're a tipping point in the crisis of waste and we must take action to reuse waste into useful assets. It's time for all businesses to align with the circular economy and leverage Repal's future-focused solution for logistics management.